seated. Dear friends and family, with great affection for Commodore Ferguson and Andrew Davidson, we have gathered together to witness and bless their union and marriage. To this sacred moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure and a gift from God to share with one another. They bring the dreams which bind them together in an eternal commitment. They bring their gifts and their talents their unique personalities and spirits, which God will unite together into one being as they build their life together. We rejoice with them in thankfulness to the Lord for creating this union of hearts built on friendship, respect, and love. Please join me in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, man and Commodore, are now about to bow their unending loyalty we ask you to accept the shared treasure in their life together, which they now create and offer to you. Grant them everything they need, that they may increase in their knowledge of you throughout their life together. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Who gives this one to be married to this man? Commodore and Amanda, the covenant which you are about to make with each other is meant to be a beautiful and sacred expression of your love for each other. As you pledge your vows to each other, and as you commit your lives to each other, we ask that you do so in all sincerity and yet with a deep sense of joy, with the abiding conviction that you are committing yourselves to a dynamic, growing relationship of trust, mutual support, and caring love. You have both made a serious and important decision in choosing to marry each other today. You are entering into a sacred covenant as life partners in God. You have the opportunity to go forward from this day to create a faithful, kind, and tender relationship. We bless you this day. It is up to each of you to keep the blessings flowing all the days of your lives. We wish for you the wisdom, compassion, and constancy to create a peaceful sanctuary in which you can both grow in love. Commodore, you understand and accept this responsibility. Do you promise to do your best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? I do. Amanda, do you understand and accept this responsibility? Do you promise to do your best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? I do. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, 
they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Commodore, you love the man that has no other. Do you take her to be your lawful wedded wife through health and sickness, through plenty and want, through joy and sorrow, now and forever? I do. Amanda, do you love Commodore as no other? Do you take him to be your lawful wedded husband through health and sickness, through plenty and want, through joy and sorrow, now and forever. Do you have friends to exchange? Let's pray. Bless the Lord for giving and receiving these rings. May Amanda and Commodore abide in thy peace and grow in their knowledge of your presence through their loving union. May the seamless circle of these rings become the symbol of their endless love and serve to remind them of the holy covenant they have entered into today to be faithful, loving, and kind to each other. Amen. I'm going to repeat after me. Amanda, I give you this ring as a symbol of our vows. All that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. And be after me, Commodore. I give you this ring. Commodore, I give you this ring as a symbol of our vows. And with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you. With this ring, I be wed. We now have the lighting. Two outside candles have been lighted to represent both of your lives in this moment. They are two distinct lights, each capable of going their separate ways. As you now join in marriage, there is a merging of these lights into one light. This is what the Lord meant when he said, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife shall be one flesh. From now on, your thoughts shall be for each other rather than for individual selves. Your plans shall be mutual. Your joys and sorrows shall be shared alike. As you each take a candle and together light the center one, you will extinguish your own candle, thus letting the center candle represent the union of your lives. As this one light cannot be divided, neither shall your lives be divided. May the radiance of this one light be a symbol of your unity in the Lord Jesus Christ. 